Hey there, in this special episode of a Pipe Dream Speedrun, we are going to answer a question from the channel. User KP6CZH4C9 writes, thanks for the tips and learnings. Can you teach in a workflow how to make a Discord bot to send a message when I create a new card in Trello? It would make my workflow better. So let's just jump into it, shall we? First step, create a brand new workflow, of course. I'm gonna title this one uh, Trello-NewCard to Discord, just so we remember what it is. And then we can search for Trello, right? We're going to click on Trello and we're gonna use the new card instant. This will trigger the workflow whenever a brand new card is created on Trello. We'll need to connect our Trello account. So uh, yeah, click that and then allow. It should have access to my one board I have available. Uh, it, this, this part looks a little funny. So you actually click this drop down. And under the option, you can see that your account is connected. Um, I'm not sure why it gives you that weird object prompt, but just, just do that. And now your Trello account will be connected. Under the board, you'll see there's one board under my account. It's called Speedruns. And we'll just say this is a new card on the Speedruns board. All right, so we create that source. Here is my lovely Trello board with a uh, very mountainous cold background. And we're going to add a new card that will trigger this Discord message. So we'll say speed run number 32, I think is what we're on already, wow. 32 Trello to Discord. We'll add a card. Hopefully when we go back to our workflow, we can see that a new event has been detected. Cool. So this is the name of the card that I just created and we should have some data we can play with. Um, we can see the name, a short URL to that card, I believe. Yeah, it opens the card in your web browser. Very useful. And then we'll continue and move on. So we have two options when it comes to Discord. You can use the regular Discord app, which will include a simple send message um, action, but this is a Discord bot request which is different. A Discord bot allows you to bring your own bot. You can set up your own avatar, you can set up your own name. This installation process is a, is a little different. And this video is a sequel to my original where you learn how to connect and create your own Discord bot. So watch that if you haven't already. I already have done this. So I'm, I have my Pipe Dream demo bot account. And under here, my test server, as you can see, I mostly get StarCraft II recaps to this channel. I must have been playing back in the day. So what you can see on the right-hand side, there's a Pipe Dream demo bot. This is my specific bot that I created and connected to my Pipe Dream account. All right, now that we did that, we could see here that this scaffolding includes my bot's bot token in the headers, and it has a URL specified. We just need to modify this request slightly to send a message to the Discord API. I'm going to do that using the Discord developer portal. And you can see there's a create message endpoint, which is exactly what we need. We're going to copy this path here. We can see it's a post request to this path and it accepts uh, some content or embeds. And I'm going to show you what embeds are in just a moment. So we're gonna go to our lovely scaffolding here and we're going to replace the user's me with this channels. Channels slash channel ID slash messages. We need to define which channel this message is going to. That's what the channel ID is. And we could do that. We could find it by using actually another step. This is, this is kind of useful. We'll go back to the Discord bot and we'll search for uh, list channels. And this will list all of the channels under your server. You just gotta, you know, select your server. You gotta test it. And this will just return all channels under your account. You can see there's four channels. It's actually kind of interesting how Discord uh, shapes this. So the text channels, the top one here are, are literally all text channels that corresponds with this upper root level channel. And then in the lower G, uh, lowercase g general, you could see down here, lowercase g general, the type is zero, which means it's a text channel. This is the name of the channel we want to post to, and you can copy the value right here. This step is just purely for getting this special ID quickly. 
and go back to our code for the sending messages step and we can paste it right here. Now, don't forget that this method of the request is a post request because it's making a change to the end service and we're gonna send some data. All right, the data, what does the data look like? Well, you can see here under the JSON form params in the Discord documentation that there is an embeds or a content that are absolutely required. So we can send a simple content message, but I thought it'd be interesting to show you the embeds because this is a really rich um, form of sending data. Now, it's a little bit more complicated, but I've actually found this really nice resource by levioel.github.io. It's this nice little generator that will uh, create the embed JSON structure for us and give us a nice little preview on the right-hand side so you can see what it looks like. I'm actually going to use this to uh, generate some information about the, the webhook. Um, I'm gonna remove this fields area. This creates the, the fields on the right-hand side. A little, bit less, uh, a little less data to look at. There's no image yet, so I'm gonna remove that image. Um, the thumbnail, we can probably also get rid of the thumbnail. I don't think we need that. The footer would be kind of nice to have to include the, uh, some text about when this was sent. And the timestamp is also really nice. Um, cool. So we can start with this. I'm going to just take this embed as is. And I'm going to go back to our pipe dream uh, workflow here. We're going to add a new code step just to make it a little bit easier to separate um, the generation of the embed code versus the actual API call that sends this data over to Discord. So I'm going to paste this in. And here's a nice object of an embed a single embed. Cool. So the title, we don't want this, this title here. We want to use the title from our card that we created, right? So under our results, we can see that there's a name of our card that we created. Where is that at? Name. We use the copy path link here to copy the path. And then our embed, we can just paste this into the embed code. The description is going to be empty because, well, the uh, there's no description yet. When we created the card in Trello, it was just the title only. But we can provide the URL, that for sure we can do. So I'm gonna copy this uh, path to the short URL, and I'm just gonna put it right here in our embed. The timestamp is actually kind of nice to have. We can take it from Trello uh, right now and then place it here. We could take it a step further and change the icon URLs to be Trello ones. Um, it's up to you. I'm just gonna put like Trello bot here and uh, leave it as is for now. Cool, so this should generate a, a single embed and under our Discord bot, we can reference this return value. So once this code runs, the return value will be our nice embed object that we just generated with the actual text rendered in place. And now in our embed bot, we can reference this data. And I believe Discord asks for, let's go back to the Discord, create, create message, create message embeds, an array of embed objects. Okay, so this, this is important. So embeds needs to be an array, and we need to make sure we include the path to this export, this return value. So we'll copy the path. This contains the embed below. Yeah, we'll copy the actual embed path and then we will paste it here. Cool. Now we can actually test this code and head back to Discord once it runs. All right, so we had a success. You couldn't hear it because it's in my headphones, but I think Discord actually uh, created the, the, the card. That's awesome. So you can see it includes a link and the title we open this up and it goes right to our short code that we defined. Pretty cool. And that about covers it. That's the basics of using the Discord bot API and Pipedream to send a rich text message to a Discord channel from a trigger, in this case, Trello. In a future episode, I'm gonna show you how you can edit Trello cards to include even more information in a Discord message, so that way you have the actual uh, labels, the, the description, et cetera, as a Discord message, not just the title and a link. Thanks again for your question. If you have another 
suggestion for a speedrun video, just leave it in the, in the comment section below. We'll get to it. Appreciate it. Have a great day.